is tie the previous videos into the UFOs. No earplugs. <laughs> hey, good, good afternoon, everybody. So uh, today, January 8th, I think, January 8th, in this brand new year, raining outside. I'm here in Texas, uh, oh, about 60 miles south of Dallas. So weather's a little cold and rainy and people are getting off work or moving around out there anyway. Wanted to come to you again to continue our story here. And <clears throat> last week I left off uh, in a place where I, I think where I need to go right now is why was all this stuff kept a secret for so long? What was the cause? And there, there is a gobs and gobs of uh, theories on this, and I've got several. I bet you do too. But a few of them struck me in, as interesting that came out a few years ago when Lou Elizondo uh, was asked that question. And <clears throat> one, you know, my wife and I were, were speaking about this not too long ago, only about five, ten years ago. And she, and she was asking, well, what, what could be so scary that it's been kept a secret of course come on anybody can handle that these little people from another planet came here in a spaceship and they're smarter than us what's the big deal well i'll assure you that is not the story that is the story that is trying to be told to us in other words that is another layer upon layer upon layer of deceit and it's much much easier to try to as, as crazy as that is to try to pass that story off to the people rather than what's actually happening and then on that same on that same tangent is <clears throat> a, the threat or not a threat and of course, it, it, it can be seen as a threat because we don't know about it. We don't know about it because it's been, you know, all the good information has always been kept from us. Always when there's something important, it's always been covered up and people have been hushed up the story has been changed. If the story couldn't be changed, it was put out there as just total bunk. And these people are insane and probably need to go to a mental institution. So <clears throat> that in itself is scary. But let's start like this. There, this this was real interesting that, that Lou put Lou Elizondo put as a example of how this could be a threat. He used the example as, hey, if you got up in the in the morning and you saw muddy footprints in your house and <clears throat> no one had been in or out of the house that you know of, your family was all in bed. No one was supposed to be there. No one else is there, but you got these footprints that would be interpreted as a threat. Even though, you know, nobody's shooting at you, nobody's there in the house trying to get you, but obviously something happened that shouldn't have. So that's a kind of a good way to look at the threat. Strange stories of presidents that have had contact as crazy as all that is, or sounds, that Eisenhower had a meeting with these intelligences. And maybe he agreed to something. And 
you know, these I, I hear this kind of bounced around all the time. What if a deal was made 70 years ago and there was a time limit on it? And this time element was something like this. Is you've got 50 years. You got 50 years to explain everything to your people uh, before this happens, whatever this is. Before this thing happens, you've got a certain amount of time to tell them. In the, in the meantime, those people that knew these things, as far as the time element go, have come and gone. And since there wasn't any records kept, couldn't write any of this stuff down, it was all word of mouth to a select number of people. And those were all gone, dead and gone. And it, it's it been forgotten. It's, and we they were supposed to do something they didn't do and now the chickens are coming home to roost. What about that? Okay, it's probably as far-fetched as you can get, but let's just not take it off the table. Let's, let's leave everything on the table because this whole damn thing is completely crazy. And just because it, something is really crazy doesn't mean you can take it off the table. So it's on there. Okay, so threat number three. Let's say these these are real things that they're saying, these UFOs, and they have found some, and these are high technology from some advanced species, and <clears throat> that when they when the when the military found these, they gave the technology to an aerospace company that they they liked, they thought would, would be able to do something with it. They're all buddies. Maybe there's a brother-in-law involved. Who knows? So <clears throat> they did that at the exclusion of these other companies that are would now be very upset. And, you know, <clears throat> the word is they are very upset that they weren't included. So that these machines were given to a company in preference to other companies. They weren't bid on, they didn't go th through the rules to get these things and to give everybody an equal chance. They didn't want the public to know, they, because they didn't want their enemies to know they had them and all this blah, blah, blah. But let's say that that is the thing that happened. And not only that, <clears throat> you know how lies go. If you tell a lie, you're gonna have to tell another lie to cover that lie and a lie to cover those lies. And before you know it, everything's a lie. So if that's the route that had happened, now, Presidents were excluded. Some presidents were told, this is all, you know, this is all just speculative. Some were told, some weren't told. You know, this, this thing has gone on without any kind of oversight. And so there are so many rules and so many laws that have been broken and stepped on, even to the point that People's careers have been ruined. People have been imprisoned in mental institutions, uh, even killed, you know. So some, there's a lot of speculation, you know, that the CIA agent that was working as a scientist with the mind altering drugs, the LSD and stuff, you know, trying to manipulate people's brains and control their consciousness. And he accidentally fell out a window, nine story window. Uh, I don't, I think it was in Chicago. And they claimed it was suicide. And even though the guy had a perfect life and perfect family and all this stuff, 
people have speculated that he was involved in the UFO thing, and that was part of the reason why he was suicided. By the way, lots of scientists, lots of military, lots of civilians have been suicided, allegedly, and this might be a reason. So, crazy as it is, it's not as crazy as the last, the last thing, but crazy as it is, yeah, let's not take it off the table. What do you think? Okay, so, four. Let's go one more on these. Uh, as long as we're speculating, let's speculate. Now, this one comes closer to where I'm headed. And this one is having to do with some of the religious and scientific stuff. Now, let's just say that what is being held is being held because every religious organization, every scripture has been manipulated, the story has been controlled and morphed into a cohesive explanation that suits the benefit of the people making up the story. On the religious thing, let's just say First of all, that this UFO thing has been going on for a long time. You know, there are examples. They're not the greatest, but, you know, there are uh, cave paintings or drawings, and there's paintings of religious figures with something in the sky that looks like it's a UFO. Who knows? Even the story of Christ, you know, being having uh, the star of Bethlehem, guiding these three wise men from the east somewhere, these uh, these kings with gifts, and that kind of, that kind of hints at like a UFO thing. It could, it could be interpreted that way. And so we're going to interpret it that way for this little part of it. And now let's let's include the fact that there are many many uh, books of the Bible. First of all, you know the Bible is is more like a library other than, rather than a book. You know there are all the books in the Bible, but a lot of them were kicked out of the Bible. In other words, they didn't put everything in there that was written. So that was a, a pretty major editing by people. Uh, <clears throat> there are some people right now that have retranslated things. I, I've been following this guy, uh, uh, Wallace, uh, what is his name? Anyway, he's got the, uh, he's got a channel, the uh, Fifth Element TV, I believe. He, uh, he's he gone back and looked at the meaning of, of the words that were translated, and he tries to get to the, the very foundation of what the meaning of the words were. And, you know, when you get back into... Uh, languages like uh, okay so the original the original language i believe was hebrew and i believe hebrew didn't have any vowels now we use vowels in our language and so that has got to be a, a big burden to overcome so anyway this guy and <clears throat> there's been several that have come to these kind of conclusions but bottom line is he doesn't believe the Bible was translated correctly. He thinks that 
the words that were used for God were plural words, meaning there were multiple. And I think he, I think they were called the Elohim. And he was, he cites stories and he re, he rereads stories in the way that would uh, express more what he believes would be true. And so when you look at it from from those points of view, it does sound like the ancient astronaut theory, which who knows about that? It's just, that's just another one of the things you can't take off the table. But back to the, the Bible, and you know, it just has the fingerprints of humanity all over it. When I was real young, I, I used to think about that. You know, I, I had this picture of an all-loving God, you know, and it just didn't make sense. It, why would an all-loving God exclude everyone in the world except for the ones that happen to hear about him, Jesus? That didn't make any sense. And then, you know, the Crusades and all these things with all this violence through the years, and my God's better than your God. If not, I'm going to kill you if you don't believe mine. Still going on today. None of that makes sense. Unless you go back and you reread it with this new interpretation that <clears throat> things were kept from us instead of instead of what we should have been learning, we were learning what these greedy people wanted us to hear. Another possibility. You gotta you gotta take that in. It's definitely a possibility. So you've got all these fingerprints on the Bible that things have been changed. You have a feature in this UFO phenomena that you cannot deny is just strange as all get out. There is this strangeness about this phenomena that if you look at it, you you're going to find it everywhere. And uh, Jacques Vallée, he, he mentioned something to the point uh, like the high strangeness, the absurdity of this whole phenomena cannot be denied. It is an inherent part of it. And there are scientists that have been studying this stuff from the government. There's some scientists that have been studying this with the government. It's actually been going on for a long time. There's just no doubt about that. But <clears throat> interesting thing is, is they, they think that they are studying something that doesn't want to be studied. In other words, it knows what they are thinking and it screws with them all the time. And if that is true, consciousness itself is involved. That's where this whole thing in my point of view is headed. Consciousness itself is at the core of this thing. So that explains a whole lot of stuff when you stop and think about it. So let's just go from there. And, you know, I'm starting to get more to the crust of the matter. I'm getting more to, uh, to the meat. Where's the beef? It's coming. And I'm getting there. I want you to come back and, and finish this thing because it's, it's going to blow your mind where this is going. So stay with me. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to show you something here. You thought I forgot about that, huh? So <clears throat> the salt's been dissolving. It's still, the water level is still high, but it's, get, it's coming down. You can see there's still salt in the bottom. But as that dissolves, those are going to be completely equal. Believe me. 
<clears throat> I'll come back to it. 